Good morning, Conley Yellow Jackets. We're your WCSS News Anchors. I'm Barar. And I'm Gabrielle. Today is Thursday, January 19, 2012. Today's lunch, today's lunch menu choices are choices of one, cheese pizza or grilled chicken wrap. Choice of two, seasoned green beans, shredded lettuce, and tomato. Taco chef and assorted fresh fruit, seasonal fresh fruit. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Blue Pop will be served to you on Friday, and due to the holiday this past Monday, money will be accepted until Friday. The cost is $2, teachers. If you receive a plastic bag in your box, please return it to Ms. Jackson. And with the WCSS Daily Weather Report, here is Lenton. Currently, it is 32 degrees. Today, there will be a high of 69 with winds at 8 miles per hour. In the north, there is rain and snow. And now for the radar map. As you can see, snow from the Great Lakes and the Rocky Mountains will affect the northeast. Also, rain from the Pacific Coast will affect the main 48 states. Now back to our anchors. Now here's a special announcement with Spencer, President of Student Council. Hi, I'm Spencer, President of Student Council, with a special announcement that all Student Council members please report to Ms. Clem's room after school. Remember to look your best. Now back to our anchors. On Friday. Kindergarten, first and second grade, Yellow Jackets, this announcement is for you. Remember to keep reading those Florida Reading Association nominee books this year so that you can come to the popcorn party at the end of the year. If you read and take an AR test on all the eight books on this year's list, you get to have popcorn in the media center. Stay tuned for more on this event later in the month. Now for a brief scope commercial about safety, we will take a sports up to speed with Taylor, Martin Reed, and Malachi. Safe. Welcome to today's edition of Sports of Speed. I'm Taylor. I'm Mark. I'm Ring. And I'm Algar. The Mavericks lost to the Clippers. The score was 89 to 91. That is disappointing considering that the Mavericks are the defending champs. It was a very close game, but I still expected the Mavericks to beat the Clippers. So this leads me to believe the Clippers are a very good team. In college basketball, Florida State will face Duke. One week, Florida State beat number three, North Carolina, 90 to 57. But Duke is number four, so Florida State will probably win. basketball number 14 Florida Gators are going to face off against LSU I think this is going to be a good game because the Gators are 14 and 4 and LSU is 12 and 6 the Hawks beat the Trail Blazers it was a very close game the score was 89 to 92 I thought the Trail Trail Blazers played well considering the fact that the Hawks are a better team than them that's all for today's edition of Sports Up to Speed let's take it back to the studio with Barr and Gabrielle
Now for All Boys About Mouse with Niani and Bailey. Thanks guys. I'm Niani. And I'm Bailey. Today's question is for K through second grade. The question is... K saw 49 puzzles during the WizKid contest. Claire saw 20 more pro problems than Terry. How many problems did Claire solve? Remember to write neatly. Bring your answers down to the media center's mailbox. That's all for today. Now back to our anchors. Lost and found. Come to the media center to claim your items. Now, for this day in history. This day in history! On this day in history, January 19th, 1825, the first U.S. patent for food storage in cans was issued to Ezra Daggett and his nephew, Thomas Kensett, of New York City. They canned salmon, oysters, and lobsters in tin cans. Also, on this day in 1840, during an expedition, Captain Charles Wilkes sighted the coast of eastern Antarctica and claimed it for the United States. Well, 19 years earlier, the first landing on the Antarctic continent was made by American John Davis at Hughes Bay on the Antarctic Peninsula. In December 1959, the Antarctic Treaty made Antarctica an international zone. The treaty set guidelines for scientific cooperation, prohibited military operations, nuclear explosions, and the disposal of radioactive of waste on the continent. And on this day in 1937, millionaire Howard Hughes set a transcontinental air record by flying his plane from Los Angeles, California to Newark, New Jersey in 7 hours, 28 minutes, and 25 seconds. That's all for today, Collie Yellow Jackets. Remember our motto. Make the most of every minute. And we'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow.